welcome and or welcome back to my channel in today's video i am um going to reflect on 2020 and then also give you all some intentions for 2021 um as you know 2020 was not everyone's year however um i wanted to be very um i guess intentional you will hear that word probably a million times in this video but i wanted to be very intentional with gleaning and taking gleaning is taking you know um the lessons from 2020 that i can all the lessons and really use them for 2021 and as well as like the rest of my life hopefully um so if you are interested in viewing and hearing the messages or the lessons that i learned in 2020 that i'm gonna be bringing into 2021 please stay tuned to this video all right so on my phone <laughs> you will see me i like to use notes because otherwise i will go on the biggest tangent so the first lesson that i wrote down in no particular order was that life goes on i mean obviously right but it was just something to see us be affected by something that the whole world was affected by and then go on like you know when people I don't know <laughs> i don't know how to explain this other than to say what i learned in 2020 was that life goes on and what i'm taking in 2021 is that when things happen or when i try to feel like i need to be focusing on something i'm gonna make sure that i am looking to what is happening next as well so not so big picture to the point where i can't focus on today but not so zoomed in to the point where i can't think about what's going to happen next. Given an example, in 2020, I was studying for the MCAT. And while I was studying for the MCAT, that MCAT felt like the biggest obstacle I could possibly face. And I got so zoned into the MCAT that I would neglect other things that was going on or feel like I had to study so much for the MCAT that I couldn't even focus on anything else. And what was the outcome of that? I have to retake the MCAT. So. I just learned that at the end of the day, there is so many different things that can be happening to you, but it's important that you have a balance between looking at what's happening right now and paying attention to what is going to happen after that obstacle. Um, the next one is give flowers to your loved ones while they are still alive. Uh, this is a very like uh metaphorical i guess is the best way to say i don't really know english grammar whatever but i know people say this and i've heard it said before but 2020 definitely made me realize just even before i experienced loss i did lose my aunt um in late december it was actually like three days before the new year we thought we were gonna be through the new year and not have to worry about the 2020 drama of uh losing a loved one but we ended up losing a loved one and um and also throughout the year um some cousins passed away and some people that i wasn't as close to passed away but um even before all of that shutting everything down and me literally sitting on my couch made me realize how much time i invest in being busy that i don't even spend time with my family enough like my family my immediate family or my side of the family i am married um my husband's side of the family is here in north carolina while my family is still in chicago so it's only so much that i can do i can't go to chicago every weekend however i do feel like i can call more i can video chat more i can show my loved ones that i really do love them and really do appreciate them and make sure that they receive their flowers while they're still alive because it's just very important and also reflecting on loss you want that person to know how much you meant to them and it's not or you know, want that person to know how much you, they meant to you. Um, and it's not about like, you know, people pleasing or doing anything that's gonna put you to a point where you're stretched to the point where you can't even accomplish the things that you personally have to accomplish. But just the idea of little things here and there that's gonna add up to the fact of someone knowing how much they mean to you. So that was the second lesson that 2020 taught me and I'm going to uh, take for 2021. 
And then also kind of piggybacking off the first lesson, but the third lesson that I took from 2020 was that um, it really illuminated what was already true and no one paid attention is that everyone is literally everyone is going through something it took i knew this before and i paid attention to this before but it literally took me being in a situation where i knew the whole world was affected by this to realize that people day to day go through things like it, it's the idea of you must treat everyone kind you must be nice you must share the love of god with everyone because you never know what they're going through and 2020 was a living example of everyone go is going through something literally everyone was going through something but also that is true day to day even before 2020 everyone is going through something so i want to make sure that i'm as kind and as intentional with the love that i have the love of christ that i have in 2021 and um even years after that and then the next one was my relationship with god is never too deep like it is just never too deep you can never get too deep with god like you can never be more woke <laughs> than with god like there's always levels um there's levels to it and not in a sense of comparable or comparable levels like you're more this than that you, you shouldn't really get in the habit of doing that because is that how god does it paraphrasing but he definitely said that the least in the kingdom is greater than the the best so at the end of the day he doesn't really get into the mindset of comparing he's not a respecter of persons so you don't really want to get into that but i will say that there are levels to relationship with god and i realized that there is no there is no boundaries there's no cutoffs there is no a com you know accomplishment with it you can't really accomplish with god you have to just continuously learn about him and know him and experience him as all his different names and that will be the relationship and then the last goal or <laughs> the last lesson that 2020 taught me that i'm gonna continue in 2021 is that you have to do what you have to do like <laughs> I think everyone experiencing something made people more aware of the things that they are doing and not comparing themselves to what others are doing. So I think after realizing that, I kind of came to the conclusion of literally no one cares what you're doing in the sense of not in a, in a very like evil or manipulative or negative way, but rather in a you have to do what you have to do for your relationship with christ and also for the future that you have and what he is making god has laid down the foundation of our days like in psalms 139 it says that each one of them were numbered he knew exactly what i was going to be doing every single minute every single moment and it also says in the new testament that he gives us these choices he lays out these interactions that we can have or we can not have it's his will that we have them and it's our choice to choose him and to have those interactions all of those things that he has made for us and done for us all these good things overall good things not just like positive things but rather negative and positive things that are working for our good so he literally laid the foundation of our days and we have to do our part we have to do our part you have to do what you have to do so we have to do our part in order to be where he wants us to be so that to me looked like making decisions based off of what others could say no we can't do that in 2021 sorry i had something <laughs> like some gum in my mouth but making decisions based off of what other people has to say not gonna be welcome in 2021 i'm sorry sorry not sorry if it's what god has for me and what the holy spirit is leading me into and what i seek wise counsel about then that's the move that we're gonna be making because at the end of the day i have to do what i have to do to get to where god wants me and that's just it piggybacking off of that as well is that you need to invest your time in what 
what is gonna move you forward um 2020 definitely put us on the couch watching tv watching netflix and at the end of the day that was fine for a season but he calls us not to rest for forever he calls us to work he wants us to work when he laid the foundation of the earth when he made the garden he made adam and he worked the garden so it's just the fact that he wants us to work so we need to be working towards the will of god point blank period So then the intentions are what I was going to go over, not goals, intentions for 2021 is that I want to be more intentional, so intentional that the time that I use, the resources that I use, whatever it takes, whatever I'm working towards, I'm going to intentionally be present in that. And if I can't be present in that, I'm going to reevaluate why I can't be and then make adjustments from there. So like the example is the MCAT, retaking the MCAT. I'm going to be as dedicated as I can, but if I don't see results, I'm going to have to reevaluate why I'm not seeing results and where is that going to lead me from there and make those decisions, meaning doing what I have to do regardless of what other will, others will say about decisions that are made videos about that coming soon okay <laughs> and then my word for 2021 is flexibility um in a physical sense because I had a knee injury when I was younger and that made my like hips lock up in a way that your girl is not flexible so I want to definitely be physically flexible by the end of 2021 but also when it comes to my time um it's very hard to explain this but basically instead of being so rigid with knowing that I have to spend time on something to the point where I get to the point where I want to be selfish with my time that I'm going to be flexible with my time so that I could be a vessel for God's a kingdom in his uplifting of his kingdom and adorning his word so definitely with that and then decluttering and functionality um i have yet to make a video about this but i am definitely gonna sit down and make videos of me decluttering my house or my apartment and going from there we have a two bedroom with a sunroom so basically a three bedroom apartment and it's like it's stuff in here and it's decorated nice it's cute but at the end of the day i just want to throw everything away i want to get rid of everything so we're gonna have some videos about that and i want it to be functional when i do end up throwing away things um and reorganizing so then contradicting to the flexibility i want to be in a routine and when i was saying flexibility it's more in the sense of not being so selfish with my time that i'm sitting on a couch and pleasing my wants i want to be flexible in a sense of flexible in my mind to know that okay i may want to do this but at the end of the day what is going to be productive for my future and that's what i need to be doing so routine i am a routine type a i'm going into a type b or some other type personality but at the end of the day i flourish off a of routine and i am getting back into a routine in 2021 regardless of what the world says regardless of what happens regardless of what shuts down what opens up routine is what we're doing i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it inspired you to live life abundantly to put down what the world is telling you to be and pick up what god is asking you to be so if you need prayer requests please leave them below or dm me on my instagram and i will be sure to pray for you pray with you and also connect you to people that maybe can pray for you if that is so needed i hope you have a wonderful and blessed day or night if you're watching this sleep well um and let's go out and live life abundantly Mwah.